development. We are just three days away from election day. Three days before this deceitful spectacle they put on every four years to tell us that democracy is on the line. We call bullshit. They are lying to us. What kind of democracy, what kind of democratic nation spoon feeds its citizens only two candidates for an election that no matter what the outcome will result in a morally bankrupt, depraved, genocidal funding executive office. What democracy? The kind where they send more bombs, more warships, more planes to kill tens of thousands of Palestinians, Lebanese, and Yemeni children, women, men, and journalists who dare to resist the deadly occupation. As anti-imperialist Koreans, we stand here today to tell Trump and Harris, the two faces of the same ruling class, that we will not let any party get away with committing genocide of the Palestinian people. Korean elder, Ko gung -yun. The sign says, I hate all Korean, uh, American presidents. Biden, Trump, Harris, we hate all of them. She is a village elder in a small farming village of Tosungiri in Korea, where the U.S. deployed hundreds of troops and billion dollar missile systems called THAAD. The same missile systems the U.S. deployed to Israel. She knows, and we know, that every single time the U.S. props up an election, they are lying. She knows, and we know, the Democrats and the Republicans Every president they put up is a deadly, bloodthirsty president to dominate every region in the world. So yeah, democracy is on the line. But it won't be decided on November 5th. Every hour, every day, how we act and what we will do to fight against US imperialism is when we decide democracy. <laughs> Palestinians have challenged the imperialist narrative that the US is not the defender of democracy, but only a death merchant of people fighting for liberation, for their love of, la of their land and people. So comrades, here in Nodethol, anti-imperialists across the world, we will fight with you until your, you return to your rivers, until you return to your trees, until you return to your oceans, and you return to your lands until Palestine is free. <laughs>